of us have long believed the notion that women are complicated beings. And this idea couldn't be further from the truth. The thing is, that both men and women can be guilty of overthinking and rationalizing everything. But men just tend to be better at hiding this side of their personalities because they're used to putting up a strong front. However, you'd be surprised to know that when men are giving you mixed signals, they might be trying to say something entirely different. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Unbestly. We are here to give you the most informative videos, and today we'll be covering things men wish women knew. So, if you want to get to the bottom of things, keep watching. So let's dive right in. Understanding male behavior is not rocket science, because at the end of the day, men are just humans too. You don't need to go above and beyond to figure out what a guy is trying to tell you, but women still end up getting it wrong. That's because, since the beginning of time, society has passed on the belief that women are emotional creatures and men are not allowed to be sensitive. This had led to men hiding their true feelings and coming off as cold because it's seen as a sign of masculinity. But we're here to tell you that men can be just as emotional and they wish women knew them better. Just because women are better at expressing their feelings, it doesn't mean that men are incapable of opening up. A lot of men have shared what truly goes on inside their heads and what they want all women to know. Although no two men are the same, they do have a lot in common when it comes to their thoughts and emotions. So, let's get an exclusive sneak peek of things men want to tell us. Number 10. Men get emotional too. Just because society portrays men as unemotional beings, it doesn't mean that it's true. For the longest time, people have looked down on men who try to be expressive and seen it as a sign of weakness. Now, Men have gotten so used to trying to appear cool to everyone around them that they're not as in touch with their emotions. Men have a lot of trouble sharing what goes on inside their heads because people tend to judge them for it. They are told not to be too upset over things that bother them and people think they simply get up and move on in no time. But men wish that women knew that they have a hard time with their emotions just like them. If men are not watching sad movies and crying on our couches, it doesn't mean they don't feel upset or don't have deep emotions. Men have their coping mechanisms, and most of them involve just drowning themselves in work or hitting the gym. Number 9. Men want compliments just like you. Women are not the only ones who like feeling desired and receiving compliments. Men like to be wanted as well, and most of them appreciate it when a woman takes the time to compliment them. They want to know when you feel attracted to them or like something that they do. It boosts their self-esteem. So, instead of always giving out compliments, men would love to be on the receiving end of it. The compliments don't just have to be about our looks. You can dig deeper and appreciate any of the things they do. A lot of men have shared how good they have felt after receiving compliments from women and how much they like to be flirted with. Therefore, next time, don't be shy and tell that guy you find him cute. Number 8. Not replying doesn't mean men don't care. In this age of social media, it's quite easy to communicate with your loved ones through texting or calling. We can always stay in touch with someone and feel close to them, but many people believe that when a man is not replying to their text on time, it means that he doesn't care. However, men want women to know that this isn't true at all. Unlike women, men don't overanalyze every text message and don't think it's important to reply right away. Most men are busy with work throughout the day and they want to give you their full attention so they try to reply when they get the time. They want to have a proper conversation with you, without any issues. Number 7. Men prefer personal space. All of us can agree that we like our personal space and don't want to be smothered all the time. However, when men tend to ask for some alone time in relationships, women take it as a sign that they don't care about them anymore. 
Men are humans too, and they get overwhelmed and want half the space to wind down. So next time a man asks you for some space, it doesn't mean that he has gotten sick of you. He just wants to recharge and relax. Number 6. Men are not that emotionally strong. We know that society always expects men to display immense strength and not get upset over anything, but they have weaknesses too. No one can be strong and secure all the time, and it's completely healthy to feel upset once in a while. So don't have high expectations of men and think they will act emotionally strong in every situation. All of us should be allowed to feel the way we want and no one likes to be under constant pressure. If your boyfriend or significant other has a breakdown over something, make sure you're by his side and show him it's okay to be upset. Number 5. Men also want affection. People always think that women are the only ones who like being cuddled. But you won't believe how many men enjoy being the little spoon from time to time. Instead of showing physical affection all the time, men wish that they could get caressed as well. Don't be afraid to show your boyfriend or significant other some love and let him know that it's okay for him to demand affection. All of us feel good when we receive love and it helps us improve ourselves. So just because men try to pretend they don't need cuddles, you should know why they might act that way. Men prefer physical intimacy too, and they're so used to their cold personalities that it gets difficult to demand some affection. Ladies, have you ever tried being the big spoon? Tell us how it feels in the comments below. Number 4. We all have insecurities. This is just one of the many problems men have been facing throughout their lives. We have all heard the phrase, boys don't cry, and it's possible we have never seen any men in our lives shed any tears. But we can't expect anyone to switch off their feelings and not be expressive at all. This kind of thinking has led to men experiencing a lot of mental health problems. It can also be the reason why so many men around us seem like they're full of themselves, but it's only because they're scared to show their insecurities. Most women prefer men who are strong and they don't appreciate it when a guy is being self-conscious about his looks. But none of us are perfect and we can all feel down and doubtful of our abilities. It shouldn't be a stigma and a taboo for men to feel insecure about their bodies or their career. Sure, men are usually seen talking about these kinds of things out loud, but we can't deny the fact that it's not an actual problem. If you want a man to confide in you, you should create a safe space where he can express his emotions without the fear of judgment. It's ultimately better for everyone involved to be honest and to be able to open up. It can help men and women to build a closer bond and normalize the importance of mental health. Number 3. Men can't read minds. How many times have you gotten into an argument with your boyfriend or significant other? Because you didn't know what was wrong. This is because women think that men can just read minds and instantly know what's bothering them. But men are not always that intuitive and they're often clueless when it comes to everyone's problems. So, if something happened and you're expecting him to magically figure it out, it's probably a better idea if you just talk to him directly and transparently. Chances are that he didn't have the slightest idea about the problem and he was just going to continue making wrong guesses and it would have made things worse. Speak up if something bothers you because it's not healthy to keep saying you're fine when you're not. The easiest way to get a man to do something is by straight up telling him instead of dropping hints and hoping he gets it right. Number 2. Not all of us are afraid of commitment. People usually believe that all men are players and run from commitment, but that can't be more untrue. So, when women first start dating someone, they automatically assume that the guy isn't going to want anything serious and that he will likely break their hearts. But just because men are not always affectionate with you, it doesn't mean that they don't want to start a life with you. Sure, they don't always want to do grand romantic gestures for the people they love, but you can't just assume that they don't want to be with you. Everyone has their ways of showing love. And we can't blame someone for the ways they choose to express themselves. So, 
Don't think that every single guy you meet is going to be a douchebag and end up cheating on you. Some men do stay loyal to their loved ones and want nothing more than pure commitment. You just have to give them a chance instead of making false assumptions on your own. If you let the man come to you, it will surely have the nice results you were hoping for. Number 1. You can take the lead. Men love it when women make the first move and show them that they're interested in them. Men don't always like to be the one to approach someone and a little change can be quite nice after some time. You don't need to wait for the guy to take the first step and you can be bold and take the lead. He will be very appreciative. Men don't like to be the ones in charge all the time, so go ahead and make the next few plans and let him know. So, there you have it. These are all the things that men quietly struggle with and wish they could share with the woman they are with. Hopefully, this makes it easier for you to understand male behavior and gives you a clue on what to do. Which ones discussed in the video do you struggle with? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this helpful, show your appreciation by liking and subscribing to our channel for more. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video.